Afternoon, Paul. How much importance do you put on these games against the Leafs when you consider where you are in the standings and that you could face this team at some point in the playoffs? Yeah, right now more, you know, the fight for first place, you know, really important. Um, you also are always measuring against, you know, I don't know how likely it is, but Edmonton's crawled back into this too. So they're, all of these now are potential first round opponents. So you are constantly measuring, finding out, you know, what, what they're trying to do to expose your game, what you're trying to do them, weighing those, uh, they'll be important, but you're going to find now, um, you know, in these games, we'll, you know, they'll have new people in their lineup. They've got injuries, you know, we've just shifted their lines around coming back. So the, the, the teams on the ice will change a little bit, you know, in the last finish of this regular season, and uh, that, that'll have an impact on how the teams look. We'll go next to Jason Bell from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Hey, Paul, thanks for doing this. Um, just the, the, the PK work has been, uh, you've been pretty satisfied, I'm assuming. Um, you've had, you know, Edmonton has maybe got your number a bit, but certainly it's strong, you've been real strong. Um, can you ever underscore how big that unit will be uh, down the stretch and into the, into the post? Yeah, I, I think it's the more important of the two. Um, being able and being confident on the penalty kill in the playoffs is a critical piece to your game. Uh, having a structure. I, I think what's been good about all the teams penalty kill is that we're seeing some pretty powerful power plays here. You know, we're, we're up there, Edmonton's up there, Toronto's up there with where they're certainly leading the league for an awfully long time. So um, every time one of those power play units gets on the ice, it's it's dangerous right it's it's i don't think that you'll you know get on a three or a four kill run and feel like that makes you gives you a better chance to kill the fifth one right because the guys that are going out here are all high end high end shooters and that can turn real fast penalty killing will be critical element we'll go next to ken weeb from sports Night. go ahead weaver thank you uh, afternoon paul uh, what makes tomorrow a good time for jordy ben and would you move him right into the penalty kill rotation uh, out of the gate if you stick with what you use today yeah, if we stick with what we used to do, and I think I'm planning on doing that, Ken. Um, it's part of what he does for a living. It's what he's auditioning here. Uh, he he feels we wanted to make sure that he felt that when he was going to go into the game, uh, that he was back, that he was right. And we wanted to do it as soon as possible, but not too soon. But he felt strong after the two days of practice, and, uh, and we want to look at it. We'll go next to Paul Stravevsky from NHL.com. Go ahead, Paul. <clears throat> Uh, hi, Paul. Uh, looking at some of the recent championship teams, uh, I've noticed that uh, the Capitals won eight of, out of or uh, eight out of their last ten in the regular season. I think going eight two and zero. The Blues the following year went uh, eight one and one, I believe, in, the, in their last ten. Do you think it's just a coincidence that those teams that you know put together a strong finish like that went on to do really well in the playoffs? Or, or is it just a, a random? No, I, I don't think it's necessarily a coincidence. I don't think it is requisite because the most important thing is you're playing well or at least you feel you're playing well or or you have a foundation to play well you know whether you get a few bounces in those games or you don't to go on those runs um but you have the confidence in your game usually to go on or you can't start in the playoffs and get into a big hole you usually so you have to be feeling right about your game i don't know that that you will take the team that the who has the best record in the last 10 games and say they now have the best chance regardless of where they finished. Um, but going in feeling positive and it is important, I believe. We'll go next to Lance Hornby. Go ahead, Lance. Hi, Paul. You touched on it a little bit, but uh, what dynamic do you think the new guys uh, bring to this? Uh, Felino and Hutton on their team, and you touched on Ben with yours. So what, what, how does that change maybe what the next couple of games could bring? So, other than we don't know where those players will fit, you know, some experience and energy, right? So Jordy comes in, he's excited. We're all excited. Usually when you put some new guys in, it's not really the new guys that do a lot. It's kind of a little bit of a, a bit of a show and tell for everybody else, right? They all want to look good in front of the new guys. So everybody gets a little bit more excited about their game They're They want to be, it's just an excitement in the room, especially, um, you know, Toronto knows they're making the playoffs. So this is kind of exciting. It's not like, you know, they're coming, we got to win this game or we're out. So um, the teams that I think that are further ahead when they add some new guys, 
Um, it's just kind of a little exciting and maybe a grind part of their schedule. Now, Edmonton, Toronto, and, and Winnipeg have got lots of reason to be excited about these games, so I don't think we were going to be short on it anyway tomorrow. We'll go next to Tim Campbell from NHL.com. Go ahead, Tim. Paul, um, did you see everything you needed to see from Blake Wheeler in these two practice days, and what, what kind of lift will he give to be back into a game? Yeah, he, he's back right, uh, and maybe then some from where he left off. He looks good. He looks strong. We will always wait until the morning skate the next day before we take a guy off IR just to make sure. Just he's back, big, strong, powerful powerful four checker that can make plays like we're more dynamic off the rush a little bit, but we're usually more physically intense in the offensive zone.